Hey guys, it's me Sophia back for another video. Um, like I said in my last video, there's three more videos after this before I leave for college and I'm going to stop doing my videos um, when I go. So this video is the salt nail art. I know it's very popular with the salt, the sugar, all those things that people are going out and spending so much money on buying. Truth of the matter is, you buy, you know, I don't know, maybe maybe four dollars at ShopRite. We I found this in my cabinet, so I didn't have to spend any money on sea salt. And you can use all the bottles of nail polish you already bought to get the same look. Um, so we'll do that video this week, and then I'm gonna do a smiley video with smile, putting smileys on your nails. I'm gonna do a minions one because yeah, who doesn't love a minion? And I'm gonna do a lion one. If there's Anything else you want to see, you got to let me know. I'll do it before I leave, and I'll just post them up randomly throughout the weeks. Um, so this one comes out like this. I only did one nail because I'm not, I'm, I'll show you on one nail. I personally don't like the textured nail polish, which is why you'll rarely see me do a lot of glitter in my videos. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but the, I use... Sea salt, I mean, you can use regular salt, depends on the look you want, but if you were going to do texture, I want it to be big and bulky like this. You see how you can easily see it? Where if the salt crystals were tinier, it would be harder to see. Um, I use Sinful Colors Unicorn, because, you know, yellow, why not? It's summer. And I use Sally Hansen Double Duty. Alright, so first you're going to paint your nail with as many coats as your yellow or whatever you want. Then... It's a very easy, simple thing to do. You're going to take your clear. You're going to put one coat. Once that's on there, you're going to make it a mess. I put my sea salt in the cap of shaving cream. You just kind of like put it on there. I mean, you can put it on there specifically how you want it. But I'm not picky. Um... And then just kind of move them until you get the crystals. Slightly push them into your color till your nail's covered, or if you wanted to do just a little bit. Press them into your nail so they pick up the color of what's underneath. I think it looks really cool. And then when that's totally dry, you're going to put a clear coat on. I do two. Once it's totally dry, you're just going to take your clear and paint right over it. I would do gloppy clear so you get it on there securely. Um, yeah, but that's that's how you do salt. You can use it with whatever um, colors you want, whatever you have at home. I use the sea salt. You can use thinner salt, thicker salt, whatever you'd like. Like I said again, I'm ending soon, so please let me know if there's anything else you'd want to do. I can put up more than four videos or three more videos. You just gotta let me know and I'll make plenty of them, okay? Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!